We've got a Gowden Delicious. An Arkansas Black. And then we've got a pear tree and a peach tree. Hoping we'll get some fruit this year. And some of these, um, a family friend gave to us that they said that our bees would like. I don't know what kind they are though. We are planting some blueberry bushes. My plan is to plant them all the way around the yard. Blueberry and then mix them up with maybe some grapes. Here's some of our more mature blueberry bushes. We've planted a couple more. Some of our garden is starting to come up. These need weeded really bad. I'm hoping I can get to it tomorrow. These are a heirloom onion. A heirloom onion. Someone um, that comes in where I work was telling me about these and he gave them to me. They come back every year and that if you, when they start like blooming at the end, if you just tear that off and put it, plant it back in the um, soil, it'll come back again. It's starting to come up. And we've got two rolls of potatoes planted. One row of Kennebec and one row of the red. They have not Oh, uh, wait, yep, they're coming up. Right there's one. Out there. Oh, okay, yeah, let's see. How many eggs did we get? 13. How many? Hey, friends, welcome back. In today's video, I thought I would kind of go around our property and show you. I thought I would go around our property and show you the ways, the steps we are taking to be more like a more self-sustainable. Um, we want to be where we don't really have to rely on the grocery store just for a few things. Um, I showed you the goats. Those are milk goats. Um, and we can use their milk for cheese. We can use their milk for soap. Just all kinds of things. Um, you saw the black... Um, Australorps, those roosters, we are going to be, we're trying to find some hens. Um, we have some incubators that we're going to try to raise a bunch of the, the black Australorps. And um, I also showed you our turkeys. We have Narragansetts. And I didn't get to show you a lot of our hens because they were setting and I didn't want to disturb them. Um, we have the red bourbons and the royal palms. But we are looking for a royal palm gobbler and a red bourbon hen. 
but we are going to try to rate. We've got 22 turkey eggs in the incubator right now, and we've got seven. I showed you the uh, little turkey, baby turkeys. Um, but uh, so we're trying to raise turkeys, more chickens. Um, we have discussed getting pigs. Uh, not sure on that. Um, it is a good source of meat. Um, at one time we had rat meat rabbits, so we thought about getting those back again. Um, and when we get some more pasture, because I, I didn't get to show you, but a lot of the pasture of the goats has, and the ponies has pretty much taken care of them. Um, we're gonna have to fence in some more pasture, but I would love to have a Jersey cow. But I also showed you um, our fruit trees, our garden, um, it's starting to come up, which we don't have but potatoes. The rhubarb comes back every year and the onions come back every year, but um, it won't be long. All the frost will be gone and we'll, we try to plant enough uh, green beans or beans, corn, uh, potatoes, tomatoes, cucumbers, all that to um, get us through the year. Uh, with the cucumbers, you know, we make the relish and pickles, and with, um, I can all the beans. Um, I usually put the corn in the freezer, but this year I'm going to try to can it because uh, with our new home, our new cabin, it's going to be running off solar, so I'm not going to be running those big um, deep freezers anymore so I'm gonna be pretty much relying on canning and everything but uh, I just wanted to show you some ways that we are getting our property and our home in order to um, so that we would be able to uh, be sustainable and um, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a blessed day